glad May's okay with me crashing a feast. I'm out of here. I believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. I, I, I gave you my paperwork yesterday. I, I've been clean for like two months. Kid, what are you doing here at this hour? Just dropping in. You guys play this late? I was a long haul trucker before I lost my lease. Nights when it's quiet, easy to think. Not easy enough where you're playing. My late husband snored. I was always up. Well, it's nice you got company. Better than nothing, barely. Have a good night, you two. What's up? Late night, huh? All too often. And the first major takedown for Fisk, hoping to end his long term reign over the city. And as of this morning, most streets have been cleared and reopened. Can't fall asleep. That's when they get you. Partnership with restaurants and grocery stores works great. Any surplus food comes right here. Oh, you startled me. I'm so sorry. Peter? I don't think May's here. No, she, uh, forgot something. What are you doing here so late? Oh, I, uh, had a little mix-up at my apartment. On the street, huh? I know the look. You're in the right place. Nothing to be ashamed of. I know, I just... I hate to take resources from people who need them. Guess what, pal? Right now, you need them. You got a point. Thanks, Gloria. So, I got the job. May's recommendation really helped. People know that when she says something, she means it. Hope May's couch is comfortable. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. 
You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. <sighs> Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Are you sure you can spare that money? Easily. Working here leaves very little time to spend money, and I'm just fine with that. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Osborne's campaign rally this after- Oh, I see what he's doing. Yeah, we all do. But still a pretty cool moment for Officer Davis and his family. I'll be there covering it. Wanna join me? Yeah, of course. See you then. Humiliating taking money from May. I should head out into the city and try to pay it forward. Understood. I'll do a swing by, let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Rodrigo. He's been acting weird, and I just found out he's meeting this woman. Well, listen, I'm not the best person to help with relationship problems. It's not like that. I think she's involved with bad people. 
Rodrigo might be in real trouble. He's scared, but he won't tell me anything. I can check it out. Any idea when he's meeting her next? Tonight, by the detox center in Greenwich. Okay. Don't worry, Carmen. I'll find out what's going on. Detox center's not far. Carmen just sent me Rodrigo's picture. Let's see if I can find him. Rodrigo. He's really nervous. That woman doesn't seem like a girlfriend. I'll get a photo and see if Carmen recognizes her. You better not hold anything back. Why would I? If that that angle. Out, need to get it straight on. Give me the plans and it won't. Very nice. Nice clear image. Looks good. Remember, tell anyone about this. And I leak the photo. Plans. This sounds bigger than I thought. I better follow the blackmailer and find out how big. Carmen, I'm uploading a photo to you. Does this woman look familiar? No, I've never seen her. What were they talking about? Sounds like she's blackmailing him. She mentioned something about plans. My husband works security at a casino in Atlantic City. She could be planning a heist, but I'll need more evidence before I can do anything. Let me know if I can help. All right. I'm gonna see where she's taking the plans. I'll be in touch. Another victim? Or an accomplice? I need a photo. No purchase with a good angle on this new guy. Looks like it's the underside of the High Line. Gotcha! It took you long enough. Okay? Yeah. As soon as he saw the photo, he fell in line. Rodrigo always was a sucker. The boss will be happy. Let's see the plans. That's what I was talking about. I gotta catch my train. I don't wanna keep the boss waiting. That's gonna be our biggest score yet. Hell yeah. How many people are in on this? I've got to follow him. Where is he getting off? Well, tapping into the train system should help me follow the train's path. Carmen, the blackmailer met some guy under the High Line. Sounded like you knew your husband. I'm sending you the photo. That's Deshaun, Rodrigo's best friend from college. He went to prison years ago on a robbery charge. Casino plans and a criminal record. Not a great combination. I need to find out who else is in on it. If they're hitting the casino, they'll need at least a wheelman and a safe cracker. I watch a lot of heist movies. Sounds like it. I'll let you know what I find out. I should head over near the subway exit and wait for him to get out. He's heading for that office building.
Practically a kid. My brother's kid. Can't trust him. They're on the move. I have all the evidence I need. Now I just have to stop that car. What the hell? Spider-Man! when a plan falls apart. Hey, Carmen. Your husband's pal and his team just had their trip to beautiful Atlantic City canceled. Thank you. I spoke to Rodrigo. That blackmail photo shows him driving the night Deshaun committed the robbery. But Rodrigo didn't know about it. He was just picking up his friend. I've got a contact on the force. She'll help Rodrigo. Especially if he'll agree to testify about the blackmail. He will. Or I'll show him he needs to be a lot more afraid of me than Deshaun. Thanks, Spider-Man. So, we installed energy-saving LED billboards all around this area. This station monitors how they're performing. I'm just hoping it saves enough money that Oscorp keeps this program going. Typical. Oscorp ignored the specs and jacked up the voltage going into the billboards. If I don't fix it, they'll explode. People could get hurt. And it would definitely be the end of this station. I need to use my electric webs to shock the screens into shutting down. And I don't have long to do it. Someday they'd weaponize tackiness. Definitely a target-rich environment. Phew. 
Phew. Now that the threat's passed, they can adjust the billboards properly. And they did save a lot of money, which seems to be Oscorp's priority, so I bet this station's in the clear. Okay, Pete. This lab has feeders to lure in birds and analyze their droppings. Yeah, that's right. I got an MBA to test bird poop. <laughs> Seriously, though, you probably know that birds carry diseases that affect people, and we need to make sure they're healthy. You know, I really wish I was there to hear your finest toilet humor on this one. Uh-oh. The pigeons are infected with a serious strain of avian flu. And it's already mutated to a form that can spread to humans. Okay, Harry's lab had everything I needed to make a vaccine. Gotta spread it fast, or the pigeons will be like rats with the bubonic plague. My best bet's dispersing it at three major migration points. Luckily, the station told me where they are. First migration points in a park. Birds there should spread the vaccine to their buddies. Pigeons put up with me swinging through their territory, so I owe them a favor. I bet the Avengers never have bird poop missions. Here we go. The vaccine's airborne, so I'll just spray it into the trees. Okay, one down, two to go. The spray won't bother people or other animals. It'll cure the pigeons. Or trigger the zombie pigeon apocalypse. And one more left. I wonder what Jameson will make of this. Spider-Man spreads chemtrails, seems like a good bet. I like helping animals. They don't call me a menace or shoot at me or anything. I wonder if it'd be stretching things if I added veterinarian to my resume. Okay, that should work fast. I'd better scan some pigeons to make sure. Did it. No zombie pigeons. Huh. Nikola Tesla fed pigeons here. So did Harry's mom. I remember her bringing us. I wish I could tell Harry, but he's not answering calls, texts, anything.
this is one of my labs that monitors water quality. Any nasty stuff gets in, it tells you. I wanted to check on it myself, but there's just never enough time. Feels like Harry's not telling me something. I hope he's okay. That algae's already killing fish. And if I don't stop it, it'll work its way up the food chain fast. I whipped up a virus that'll attack it in Harry's lab. But I need a sample of the algae to make it work. Gotta get to the lake, stat. Got it. Now I need to crack the cell walls, and the only way I can do that in time is with G-Force. The quick and dirty way to apply G-Force is jump off a tall building, and the tallest one around is Oscorp. I wish I could do this in a lab, but there's no time. Woo! Got it! Now I just have to do it again. I am not eager to repeat that, but I have to. Got nervous, I guess. Back to the lake and turn this loose. There. And it's tailored to the toxic algae. Won't hurt normal plant life. Which is good, because a park without plants is just a vacant lot. <laughs> 